Hey there, sign of cancer. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. Uh, we'll start off with oracle cards and then we might clarify with the tarot later or do a small tarot spread. It's just kind of whatever the reading decides to go to. I'm um, going to call in our angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power, and ask that the white light uh, surround us as we do this reading, surround you as you watch this reading. And we'll get started. So this is Archetype Deck, Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Archetype. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Cancer? Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate each one of you very much, and I appreciate all the support that I get for this channel. Very much so. All right, so we split the deck, and then we'll get two. <clears throat> All right, so. Oh, that sounds kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> the womb and the offering. You know what I mean? It sounds like a horror, <laughs> horror movie. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so let me get my mind out of horror films and go back to what these cards mean. Let's see, the womb, let's look it up, but I can be pretty sure it's about the seed that's planted and uh, being nurtured, protected. That's kind of what I think of when I think of the womb. Okay, so yeah, it's the nest, the belly, the origin. It's where you started from. So this card though, it asks you to contemplate the beginning of the beginning. So before you were even put in this body, what happened before that? So you know, the, the beginning of our spirit realm, um, the place where people say we actually feel like it's more real feeling, the other side. <clears throat> All right, so to, to do the womb awaits for your return to heal and grow. And this card is a call to keep things simple, to be reborn in the name of love. Nourishment, harmony, warmth, and love. Consider that Mother Earth must also have a mother and imagine what she would be like. <laughs> so, so yeah, this, so this is like remembering, trying to mem remember where you came from, um, getting to know this side of yourself nurturing others, being really warm and caring, awakening to that self. Then the offering, all right, the offering with the hand kind of out and it looks like a new moon. Um, let's see. Okay, the offering is, <laughs> see what I mean about the horror movie? The offering is the gift, the present, and the sacrifice. <laughs> so, um, this is a clear as day message. This card gives you the message to carry on a clear action. And as you may have guessed it, something must be given up for something to be given. So, um, it's about sacrifice, and it's about giving and receiving. Um, when we offer something up to the greater good, we lighten our load, and we become able to serve. So, imagine for a moment if you were to offer your whole self unconditionally to the world. For now, start small. Generosity, donating, volunteering... Yeah, so so this is the offering, and what you would be offering, I believe, would be yourself, your warm, caring, like nurturing self, the self before the self, the womb. All right, so from the womb, we will go forward. Let's get some uh, spell casting cards mm -hmm. for cancer spell casting. For the next 24 hours, see what is up with these two cards. The womb, the offering, or cancer. Ooh. All right, so coming in fast. Coming in fast. And the word finding is on the bottom of that deck. 
So it's almost like finding new beginnings or trust. Trust this new beginning. I think it might be an offer maybe to travel or um, maybe this is a journey. This is going to be a journey for you. There's something you need to trust. So take a look at your life and think, what is it that's brand new for me? What am I starting? What's brand new? Is it a feeling? Is it a person, place, or thing? And if it is, then look at it through spirit's view and trust that everything's going to be fine. And if this is about travel, about relocating, or anything about travel, it's um, reassuring you that this is okay. That might be what you're offering. Is um, your trust. You offer your trust out. All right, we're gonna put these up here and let's draw some tarot cards uh, for clarifying these. Let's just get a small spread and we'll consider it clarifying all of these oracles. So trust and you might be traveling and new beginnings like the full card. New beginnings, the seen and the unseen. Hmm. An adventure. It kind of has the same coloring too as the offering. Okay, what is the issue card for Cancer, please? Issue is you being yourself, being yourself, being yourself. She's got her walking stick, so she is walking away from a situation, and it 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 could be it really could be physical because we have the card travel. Or this could be a journey, but you know, the chariot is about travel too. So either this is a journey that you're metaphorically going on and that leaves you um, to the challenge of having to leave behind something else like the offering. Okay, because so you can even tie it into that card where you have to give something to, in order to receive. That's what you would be giving is um, something that you don't need anymore. Something uh, somewhere or something or somebody who does not serve your best interest and maybe you don't serve theirs. All right, and the, char the chariot, though it uh, represents travel, to me it also represents a win, a win situation. Um with hard work with hard work we also have the world card on the bottom wow cancer we're starting a brand new chapter there is a feeling of completion and time to move on i think we if we haven't got one foot into this new journey then we're going to very soon all right so what is the past location or past position for cancer please Past position. It's going to be an exciting ride. I can see that. And I'll, I'll tell you because sometimes we leave behind our, uh, like a lack mentality, um, the way our belief system, sometimes we leave that stuff behind. And as I was saying, your belief systems. All right. This seven of wands is about what you fought for. Looking back in retrospect, what did you fight for? What truth did you hold to be true to you? And we might, as we go forward, want to reanalyze what we believe in, what we stand for, and see if it's in alignment with our dreams. And the world, again, showing up on the bottom. Whew, really, like a new childbirth, a new job, a relocation, a new house. A big new chapter in your life and a wedding. Some, there's something that's really big. You have to trust this. You have to trust this. Trust this journey. Metaphorically for some and literal for others. Future spot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love it when the cards do this because... I mean, come on, the Fool on the New Beginnings card. That's exactly what you're going to. This brand new start. Cancer, it's beautiful. And I can tell you this, your energy is coming in really clear, concise, powerful, very powerful. So I'm getting, I'm getting like these messages very clearly. Sometimes it's hard for me to understand 
um, what the intention is behind some cards, but with yours, your reading, it's crystal clear. And that's good. That means like when you're st setting your intentions, you know, for your manifestation, they're going to be really nice, concise, clear. And I think you're going to do this after a rest, after a healing, physical or emotional, after a healing, guys. Let's get you some tea leaves, and then we're going to close this reading out and do another one tomorrow. We'll have fun again. All right, tea leaf, tea leaf. Not all of them will resonate, remember that, because these are little, little, little bitty ones. There's a tent. This is the temporary situation. It's, it's whatever you having to fight and defend for. I think it's, Pat, or like I said, I think you're one foot in the threshold, one foot. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. The womb, the womb. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Oh my gosh, that kind of reminds me of the womb too. You know what I mean? The yoke. All right, cat, a two-faced friend. Ugh, I don't like that, but whatever. Whatever. We all have those. Um, unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. These are the changes. It's eight of Cups. What do you need to re-examine your life? What, do a self-inquiry. What do you need to change? Ladder. Climbing towards success. And there's that the chariot. It, it just indicates success. It's give and take. Right up to the offering. All right, Cancer is a great reading for you all. Thanks for joining me. Sending you much love and light. Join me for your next reading. Bye.